Hi, welcome to SolidWorks 2017 video tutorial. Another basic video regarding reference elements, especially planes. In SolidWorks, there are a lot of reference elements planes, axes, coordinate systems, and points. In this video, I will try to cover only the planes and Maybe not all options, but at least the same options which are available in Onshape. So let's have fun with SolidWorks. Again, I've already prepared some elements, a spline, two lines, another line, a 3D line, because in SolidWorks there are 3D sketches and 2D sketches. And you can use 3D and 2D elements or creating planes and some points. So let's go for planes. And so it works. There is no option selection beforehand. So what you have to do is to select some reference elements and see what happens and choose the according options. If you want to get an offset plane, just select one plane and give it a distance and you will get an offset plane. You could go for a perpendicular one. You go parallel, coincident, and you could even go for an angle. But if you want to go for an angle, you have to select another element, for example that line. And then you could give it an angle, maybe 30 degrees. Yeah. So you could always select up to three references and then you could use some options. You could go for a point and a plane and that will get you a plane parallel to the reference plane through that point. You could go for two lines, one line, second line, I cannot cover all options, but you could go for a point and a direction, and then it should create, oh, this didn't work. So you get a point and a line and that plane goes through the point and that line. But if you select it like this, line and then the point, we will get through the point a plane normal to that line. You could go for three points, one point, second point, and third point, maybe right this one, yeah. and consider you've got even options. Of course, you can select a curve and then a point. So all those options which are available in Onshape are available in SolidWorks as well. And you could go for a bisecting plane as well. Delete, delete. Just select two planes. First plane, second plane. And you got a mid plane. You can flip the offset and you could flip the normal always and you could go for an angle and and so on
and I think I covered all the same as in one chain. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. I want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well. I will try to cover axis, coordinate systems and points in later videos. But first I want to do all the planes in all programs if there are any planes in those programs. So thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.